Hey guys, let's talk about tonight's episode of Arrow and I don't know, this episode kind of fell flat for me. Um, the ending I thought was really good. We had obviously Nisa showing up, pointing her arrow at uh, Oliver and Roy asking where Sarah is. So obviously Nisa has no clue that Sarah has died and she was expecting her back to come back and she is wondering what is going on. So that was a good ending. Um, I also like the reveal that um, Felicity's gonna go to visit Barry because her friend has woken up from a coma where he was struck by lightning. So all of us who are watching The Flash know that Felicity is on her way to see him. Um, so that's gonna be kind of cool. And um, as she leaves, uh, Ray Palmer um, finds this uh, file that's been decoded or was corrupted and Felicity helped him uh, retrieve the information that was on it and it turns out that there's all these blueprints to like pretty much like weapons of mass destruction so you see he has this little look on his face at the end of the episode what does it mean does did he find something that he was looking for he looks kind of angry that he found this piece of information um, so we'll see what happens there um, yeah, this, I don't know, I didn't really, maybe it was because it was a Thea-heavy episode, um, I didn't really love it, because I haven't really been a fan of Thea's character, I find her very whiny, um, I did like to see all the fight scenes that, um, basically her stunt double is doing, <laughs> but we're supposed to believe that it's Thea having gone through the training with her father, Malcolm Merlin, to become this new weapon, I guess, that he's going to be able to control. Um, you know, he does a lot of uh, putting her past her pain threshold and um, we see that play out at the end when she finally decides to go back home with um, Ray and Oliver and Diggle and she gets bumped and someone spills their coffee on her hand and she doesn't flinch and Oliver's like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. So obviously all that pain that M Malcolm was putting her through has paid off and I like that scene when he was like, I can't teach you as my daughter. I have to teach you as a student. And he basically clocks her one in the face. <laughs> and that's how she pretty much starts to learn how to train and becomes pretty awesome with a sword, or at least her stunt double does. Um, then we had, um, you know, the case of the week, which eh, didn't really interest me, but it pretty much all brings us back to Argus. And, you know, Amanda Waller is this very devious and um, I guess you could say a dangerous boss and you can't cross her and Diggle's wife works for her and the the guy that they were tracking down in this case that worked for Argus he didn't check in so Diggle and Ray and Oliver go to find him and we find out that he's trying to sell some information to these other people and he's all he's doing it also that he can get away from Argus and he's pretty much warning Diggle that Amanda gets whatever she wants. And if I don't do this, you got to do it because it's never going to end. Um, and at the end of the episode, Diggle's wife goes back to Argus to see what Aman what it is that Amanda wants. And that's how the episode ends with her. We don't really know why she's been called in so late at night to Amanda's office. Um, some stuff that I did like in this episode was all the stuff that's going on with Felicity and this new guy, Ray Palmer. And of course, Felicity thinks that she's going to be his assistant. So she comes in there all, you know, I come in here and I'm not going to back down from these demands and she doesn't want this and she doesn't want, she's not going to do this and she's not going to get coffee and she's not going to do this. And then he, she finds out that she has an executive assistant and that she has this huge office. And so she's like, what is going on? So I thought that was really cute. And I'm really liking Ray as in addition to the show. I think he's very quirky. I think he's got a great personality. He doesn't seem um, too devious right now. I don't know what exactly is going to happen with him moving forwards, but I like the pairing of these two. I think it works very well. They're both very um, quirky and over the top and I'm, I'm digging that. And this scene, this episode was also very um, heavily focused on Laurel. And obviously she's still reeling from the death of her sister. She's going to AA meetings and she's, you know, feeling like she's got this burning inside. And when she said that line, it made me laugh because I was like, there's a cream for that. But <laughs> it just, I'm sorry, inappropriate. But she was like, I have this burning feeling inside and 
I feel like I need to do something about it. And whenever I hold Sarah's jacket, I feel like I she's with me and I want to go out and I want to do solve things and save people. So in her AA meeting, there's a girl that's in there and she's getting beat up by her boyfriend. So she goes and she puts on this like, you know, hooded hat with the eyes uh, cut out of it like she's gonna go rob a bank or a, a bank or a convenience store and she goes and she beats up this guy with like like a, a tube iron and um he knocks it out of her hand she gets a couple good smacks in him and then he knocks it around he punches her in the face and kicks her in the gut and you know he's a real piece of work so he doesn't really care that she's a woman and he just beats the crap out of her and so with this she goes to Oliver and she wants Oliver to train her and Oliver's like are you crazy I am not gonna train you and he basically says listen your father how do you think your father would react if he loses both of his daughters and then at the end he says Sarah would never forgive me if I trained you to become an assassin or somebody like who I am so she basically gets turned away by Oliver and then she goes to a friend of hers which we saw earlier on in the episode who works at a boxing boxing um studio and she goes there for some training so here we go here are our steps to see Laurel turn into this badass fighter let's hope so um so you know it was interesting to see the flashbacks of Thea's transformation and now we're getting Laurel's transformation so everybody's turning into you know these powerful strong female characters which is great to see um and I also like the scene when they were um Oliver Diggle and Ray because those three are like a well-oiled machine the way that they are just synchronized in their fighting skills and and all of their fighting technique is always really cool to watch so that was a great scene but you know to me this episode was just okay um like I said the ending for me was the best part when Nisa came up and she showed up in you know Oliver's lair under Verdant and um he basically she basically pulls the arrow on him and says where is Sarah so to be continued, of course. All right, guys, that's my review of Arrow. Let me know what you thought of this week's episode, and I will see you next week.